Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Buster Moon the Koala from Sing. So let's get started. With Buster the Koala, we're going to first start by drawing the little tuft of hair on top of his head. So right here, I'm just going to draw some zigzags. Maybe about two. And then from there, we're going to start to draw his big round head. So um, this is the center. We're going to start coming around with a curve. So I'm just starting to draw the usual draw so cute um, shape that I give all my animals. So it's kind of narrower at the top and a little wider towards the cheeks. So I'm going to keep coming down with this curve. Nice and round. And as soon as I come to about here, I'm going to start to round it off. So about right here, you can add some zigzags if you want it, just to indicate some more of his fur. You don't have to. If you wanted him to be extra furry, <laughs> I guess you could. And so then from there, we're just going to connect it. The nice soft curve. So there, that's the shape we're trying to aim for. So a little bit narrow at the top and wider towards the cheeks. So then from there, let's start to draw his ears. So the koala ears are pretty big. So it takes up pretty much this whole side of his face. So we're gonna come about right here and we're gonna start to draw some zigzags, um, zigzags to indicate some fur. A little bit like that. And then um, add a little bit more towards the top and then start to bring it around. Nice big ear all the way around. And then for the inside, um, for the part right here, you can come about right here. For the two different colors, you can separate it, but right here, draw, same thing, zigzags again, and then bring it out towards the edge. And so then now let's try to do that with the other side. Fix that a little bit. So I'm gonna come across, give myself a point, just so I know where my ears are are going to be on the other side. It won't be exactly the same, but at least try to aim for the about the same area. So by going across and giving yourself these points, it would be a lot easier. So you can also come across for the top, and so it'll be about right here. You can just give yourself a tiny point, and then from there, it'll be a lot easier to start your zigzags. And then start once again about right there and go around. And we're going to end about right here. So just bring this curve around. And we've um, pretty much got his two ears in. So then same thing, come across right here. So that's where the inside's going to start. And we're going to do the same thing. Just start some little curves, zigzags, and then once again, just bring it in. So now we got his ears in. Finally, let's bring him to life. So with this um, koala, one of his main features is his really big long nose. So I want to start with that so that we can anchor everything and know where to draw his eyes. So let's say about right towards the little bit above the half point, we're going to come about right here and draw in the center a little curve. And so this is the top of his nose, and we're gonna bring it down to about right here. So it's up to you how big you want his nose to be, or how long. So we're gonna keep coming down, we're gonna come around. And that's about how big I want his nose to be, so we're gonna start to bring it around and connect it. So that's the shape you're aiming for, this kind of ovalish, a little bit narrower at the top. And then from there you can, um, I know it's black, but it's not um, as black as his nostrils are. So right here, towards the bottom, you can draw a little curve for his nostrils and you can shade that in. And then when you color it, you can add some um, just really dark gray and some blacks in the nose. And so then from there, now we have his nose. Now we can um, better judge where to put his eyes. So I'm going to come to the side right here in this spot. And I'm going to draw two circles. So I'm here, I'm going to draw one big circle on this side. Nicely in the center. 
And then I'm going to come across on this side and once again about the same area and draw myself another circle for his other eye. So there, I got his two eyes in. So let's make them draw so cute eyes. So right here I'm going to add two small circles at an angle and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. So thank you for all the requests for Sing characters. Sorry it took me so long to get to them. <laughs> I tried um, to go watch this movie and the one day that we did go, all the tickets were sold out. So then I haven't had a chance to go watch it yet. So please let me know in the comments below if you think it was really worth, um, maybe I should really try to go and watch it. <laughs> so two small circles here at an angle and curve line at the bottom. And also, if you could tell me in the comments below if you really like these same characters, um, who I should draw next, which um, character you think you would like me to help you out with. So I got his eyes in, because all I know is that Buster here I think is the main character, so that's why I'm drawing him first. Okay, so I got his eyes in, now let's draw his eyebrows. So we're going to slant it down a little bit. So come about right here above his eye, and we're just going to draw a curve that kind of slants down. And come back up and just thicken it. So same thing on this side, come up and just thicken it. There. And then for his smile, so I'm just giving him a really simple smile. It's going to go up towards this way. So I'm going to start about right here. And curve up. So this side is a little bit higher just to give him that kind of smirk smile. So right here just cap it off. And a little bit right here too. So there, Buster, Bra uh, Buster Moon, <laughs> the koala. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw his um, body. So with his body, he's wearing a suit. So I'm gonna cut in his hands, I'm having them kind of um, outstretched just to make it a little bit easier to draw. So I'm gonna come here, let's see his bow. I'm gonna come here and give him his shoulder first. So on both sides, nice and center. So I got his shoulders and then where his shoulders would be, I'm gonna, but right here, imagine this is where his outfit would start. So uh, right here, I'm going to start to draw this angle line that I usually draw for all my Draw So Cute characters. And I'm not going all the way because um, I don't want this line to make it look like he's wearing a vest because he's just wearing a jacket. So from there, I have this nicely placed and I'm going to start to draw his bow. So come to the center and in the center right here, let's draw oh, a little circle and then come out with the bow. So we come out and come back in. Same thing on this side, come out and connect it. You can draw some little details in here if you want it for his bow. And then from there let's draw two angle two lines that kind of come straight down from the bow. So this is going to be starting of his jacket. So on this side as well. And so um, from there, let's, um, let's bring it down a little bit more. And then um, let's cut him off right here and start his belt. So I'm gonna come right here and cut it off right there for his shirt area. And so for some details in his shirt, let's come down with a straight line and then you can draw three small circles for the buttons. And then from there, let's uh, finish off this jacket. So bring this down a little bit more and connect it. So same thing here and connect it. So it kind of curves up a little bit. And so some details right here for the I think it's the lapel, is that what it's called on <laughs> this jacket? So come in, two angles, and then come down. So same thing on this side, out, and then connect it. 
So then from there, let's start to draw his, um, his arms. I'm going to come out. His hands are kind of outstretched. So about his armpit area be right there. And let's bring it down a little bit more and connect it. So same thing on this side. Just make it nice and even and a lot easier to draw. So come across but right there. So just kind of make sure it ends about the same area. So we got his two sleeves in. So on this side, his hands just open, so it's a little bit simpler. So just come out with um, one thumb, and then his uh, little three fingers right here. So you're gonna add one, nice chubby round fingers, two, three, and then come back up. And then right here, you can add a little line for his palm area. And so then for the other hand, I'm um, having him hold a mic. So come right here and we're gonna first start by drawing a thumb. So it's gonna come out and curve. And then right here for his palm area. And notice it's, it's ending at the same angle right here. And then from there, we're gonna add this kind of like an oval shape for his other finger. So we're gonna come connecting, touching his thumb. We're gonna draw this kind of an oval shape. And then come in here and just add two lines and that's for his fingers folded in. And then inside right here, we're gonna draw the mic. So come in at this angle, he's holding the mic. So it's being overlapped by the finger. So notice he's kind of like holding this mic right here and then connect it. And everything is at this angle, so just continue We're gonna give it a nice round top. And then add a little curve right there for his mic. So now let's start on his uh, belt. So his belt right here, we're just gonna draw a rectangle right in the center. And connect it. And then right here, come down a little bit lower and towards the center once again, we're gonna draw the curve and we're gonna to start to draw his pants. So we're gonna come about right here, imagining that's where his hip would be, his legs on this side. And we're gonna bring this out at an angle. Same thing on this side, bring it out. And go down a little bit more and connect it. So same thing on this side. So just make sure I end at the same spot and connect it. So I got his pants in. So now let's draw his shoes. So I'm gonna simplify his shoes. I'm just gonna come out right here. I have a curve, come down, and right here, straight down, and then connect it upwards. So same thing. Um, down straight, and we're gonna curve right here, curve out, and connect it. And you can just add some lines right here for some details. And um, am I forgetting anything? Oh, <laughs> some details on his jacket. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, so here we're gonna add two buttons. And on this side, just gonna add two lines and then um, the pocket area right here. Just draw, and you can pop it out a little bit. That's where his pockets are. So about right there. Same thing, pop it out a little bit. And this one gonna pop that a little too much, but it should be about like that, just a little bit right there. And, um, I think that's about it for my Buster Moon, the koala from the movie Sing. I hope I made it easy for you guys to follow along and draw him. Thanks so much for watching. And if you did like this uh, drawing, please give me a like and a share. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.